Dave Tosh, Executive Director, Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center. Today I'm with Linda Haglin, Executive Director of the Downtown Association. And before, before we get to talking about the, the downtown business uh, folks, uh, I thought I'd just say a few words about small business. I've, I've been uh, in my newsletters uh, mentioning the fact of how important it is for all of us to support our local small businesses. I think most people get it as far as what it means. There's a lot of families involved in these small businesses. I grew up in Kashmir. We had a small business in Kashmir. My family uh, had that for years. My granddad built a service station there in the, I think it was the early 20s. And I witnessed as a young man uh, working there, you know, all of the vibrant activity going on in Kashmir. And of course, you know, the highway was moved and, and went outside of town and, and that uh, did a lot of damage to our downtown. But anyway, I witnessed how important small business is. And my grandmother used to bring me down to Wenatchee and, and, and all through the downtown area there, all the stores that she went to, including Morris Hardware, which I remember really well. That was one of her favorite ones. <laughs> and that sign is still up on mm, the building. Sure is. However, um, you know, I, I just have a lot of fond memories about uh, about the vibrancy of the downtown Wenatchee. And oh, there was also the thing about parents would take their, their young children to watch the movies while they shopped. You mm -hmm. know, that was another mm -hmm. feature, you know. Mm -hmm. Obviously, things have changed. Mm -hmm. uh, business has changed. A lot of things have changed. But we still have a strong and vibrant downtown business community. And so, Linda, I've said enough about it. Yeah. Um, why, don't you, why don't you talk a little bit about what's going on right now? Uh, well, I could hear about downtown all day because it's <laughs> the downtown of my childhood, too. Um, for me, one of my most vivid memories was that special treat around my birthday with a black and white at the Owl Soda Fountain. Oh, my gosh, the Owl Drugstore. I just lived for that moment to have uh, black and white. And it is a part of my DNA. Um, this downtown is a part of my DNA, as it is yours, as it is many people. Um, we have a very unique, historic downtown. These buildings are, over many of them, over 100 years old. They've stood the test of time. And just like that, the analogy is, is downtown will, test, will stand the test of this time. Um, yes, this is a pandemic, um, but we will survive. Small business owners, I always say, are the, some of the bravest people. Them and cherry growers have to be the bravest people I know. Because a small business owner, it's tough right now. And it's in a normal condition. But now with COVID and the restrictions and what they're having to do, um, I think the fear really for small business happened before COVID, and that is the ability to sit on your sofa and click away on your tablet or computer, order pretty much what you want and have it delivered to your door. Right. Um, obviously, COVID has, um, has made that even more important and easier. But I will say that these small businesses downtown have found ways to adjust, what's the key word, pivot, their working <laughs> model. And they have found ways to help and still stay relevant. Um, our organization launched a program a late fall for the holiday specific, but it went through now into the year called Keep It Local. Just a mindfulness um, campaign to remember that these small businesses now more than ever need you. And um, our restaurants particularly are a hard hit industry sector right now. Many of them are takeout only. Some of them are not open at all because takeout, the takeout option really doesn't work for their business model. Yeah. So um, yeah, they, it's a tough time, but the hope and the resiliency I'm seeing out of them inspires me every single day, how they've become creative and remain relevant to, to bring that awareness that you can make a difference. One little purchase and one little thank you. And maybe that's, that's my charge today for people to ask them to be mindful with the kindness of the thank you. It's, it's a hard road. Many of these small business owners are doing it all on their own, opening the door and closing the door. I hate to pick out just one business, mm -hmm. and maybe you could mention several, uh, some of the unique things that they're doing. For instance, uh, Firehouse Pets. Mm -hmm. They've really thought this thing through, and, and they're open seven days a week, mm -hmm. and you can order from them and drive up to their front door, 
or close to their business, and they will bring the pet food out to your car. And I know a lot of seniors have pets. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you're going about getting your pet food, but just talk yeah, to them about that. Yeah, and you know, Alan and Jennifer Larson, um, they are true small business heroes, in my opinion, because they listen to their customers and they respond. They not only will bring it out to your car if you drive up, they'll bring it to your home for you. They will deliver it to you, their, whatever needs you have, even if it's a fun toy you need for your, because, you know, just like I'm a woman, sometimes I need something new to wear. Your dog needs a new toy or a new little outfit. They're so fun in trying to help you get through that. Um, but I think it's what makes Alan and Jennifer and Firehouse Pet so unique is their staff and their approach to business, their customer service. And you don't do, you can't get much better. And they have been open the entire time. They've been deemed essential. So they've been able to adjust as they've gone through this to their customer needs as well as anyone, I think.